Yo, what is up? Welcome to Ninja Geek Games. Tiny Towns is a one to six player puzzle-like abstract game from AEG. Here, you are the mayor of a town that apparently is tiny, where you need to gain resources and trade them to construct buildings that provide victory points at the end of the game. The player with the most prosperous town is the winner. Let's take a look at what you get. Each player gets a four x four player board that represents your town, and it's here that your resources and buildings will be placed during the game. You get a deck of building cards separated into different types and at setup you'll randomly select one card from each type. You always start the game with the cottage building in play but generally you'll have a unique layer of other buildings for each game. These show the resource type and pattern required to build them and each player will also have access to their own monument card. There are five different types of resources represented by coloured cubes for wood, wheat, brick, stone as glass and as well as eight different wooden buildings that match the icon on the building cards in play except one that is used to construct your monument. Lastly there is a cool looking master hammer used by the first player. Content wise you don't actually get that much. Player boards, a few cards and then the resources and building tokens and that's pretty much it. Regardless the game provides quite an engaging challenge with regards to resource selection and placement even though gameplay itself is exceptionally simple. In the base game the master builder which is the first player will select a resource type and then all players must take that resource cube and place it on their player map and this continues shifting the master builder between players. Carefully planned placement of resources allow you to trade them in for buildings that you can add to your player map and each building provides different ways of scoring victory points at the end of the game. Some buildings need to be adjacent to a particular type of building to earn victory points and others provide them for just being built but may have a bonus if certain conditions are met. What's important is that each building card has a very specific way in which these victory points are earned. Each building can only be constructed if you have the required resources on your town board and in the pattern matching that of the building you want. So here I can build a tavern for the thirsty villagers if I have two brick and one glass resource in a row in any orientation on my board. Resources go back to the supply and the building is placed in any one of the squares vacated by the resources. All the buildings in the game have different requirements for both resource type and pattern. Also each player will have their own monument card that is kept secret until you're ready to build it. These have some really nice bonuses like being able to copy buildings constructed by an adjacent player or gaining victory points during endgame for not constructing any of the available buildings. As the game progresses your town will gain more and more buildings limiting the area available for placement of new resources. The game also includes a town hall variant where resources are gained by drawing cards but every third round each player is free to select any resource they want. For a game with very simple gameplay mechanics it's quite strategic and certainly requires forward thinking. You need to be able to assess which buildings are available for your game and how they enable you to score victory points. Do you need particular buildings adjacent to each other or in the same row? Some may need to be built only to provide victory points for other buildings already constructed and others such as the factory allow you to place resource tokens on the building token that has in-game effects but scores no victory points at the end of the game. There may be some analysis paralysis assessing the best way to score victory points as there's always seven building cards available that may link with other building types or need a particular placement for example. At setup each player also gets to choose one of two monument cards that are all different and are a must to get onto your town board for their bonuses. The game can be played solo using the resource card from the town hall variant that provides a delightful challenge in an attempt to beat your own score. The rules are easy to grasp, setup is very quick and the game takes less than an hour even at the higher player counts. Tiny Towns is a simple game to play but difficult to master with high replay value due to the various types of buildings that can enter the game or with unique conditions to be met in order to make use of them. I think this is an absolute joy and certainly one of my top puzzle games that I own. If you enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe button. This is Ninja Geek Games. Cheers.